Hey everybody, Angry Poncho here, and it's time to start my next LP, Spyro the Dragon. Alright! This is one of my favorite games, all the way back from my childhood. Let's go ahead and start a new game. In the world of dragons. Okay, rolling. Oh, it's been peaceful here in the five worlds, or is it six? <laughs> For a dragon's age, we now have 12,000 treasure, or is it 14,000? What about this Ganasty Gnork character? Now I understand he's found a magic spell to turn gems into warriors for his cause. I'll take that question. Nasty Nork is a simple creature. Simple. He has been contained in a remote world and is no threat to the Dragon Kingdom. No threat! Besides, he is ugly. That does it. <laughs> Looks like I've got some things to do. Certainly does. It's interesting how they sort of brought it on themselves like that. But oh god, that's funny. That always made me laugh out loud as a kid. The adventure begins. And after that little introductory bit, they put us right into the game, and it's time to get going. I'm so glad that they don't uh give you like half an hour cutscenes at the beginning like some games do. Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. Free ten dragons in the artisan world. Then find the balloonist. He'll transport you to the next world. What about Nasty Nork? I'm going after him. Find dragons first. That's all I can tell you. Hmm. Not bad advice. Not bad at all. Alright, uh, yeah, one of the first principles of this game is, just like he said, saving dragons. All you do is walk up to him and touch him. Where's Nasty Nork? I'll torch him! Keep your horns on, Spyro! You have much to learn first! Do you know what the dragonfly following you is doing? Um... His name is Sparks, and he's helping and protecting you! Keep an eye on him, and see what I mean! Hmm, very curious. Watch the dragonfly, you should. Uh, yeah, basically, uh, Sparks, the dragonfly, who follows you, is your health meter. Uh, he's gold when you're at full health. You take a hit from one of the enemies, and uh, then you go to, he goes down to being blue. Take another hit, he's green. Uh, third hit, he is gone completely, and Spyro is alone. And then uh, fourth hit, and you're done. That's You lose a life, and you go back to your last checkpoint. And uh, your checkpoints, incidentally, are when you rescue dragons you get a checkpoint. This is essentially is what you're doing when it does that little loading screen right after you get them. It's saving your progress and keep making sure that you uh, it updates the number of dragons and the number of gems, where you were, etc, etc. Alright, let's put down here real fast. Pick up these last gems down here. We're not gonna go talk to him yet. Well, I guess we could. Let's see what he says. If you prove your worth by rescuing ten dragons, then you may use this balloon to fly to a new world. Awesome. Yeah, the world we're in now is uh, the artisan world, and this is actually the home world. And, ooh, I've already been in there. It's the easiest of the dragon worlds, it's because it's also the first. It makes, oh, come on, I almost had that. Easiest and first of the dragon worlds, and it has the fewest gems. I'm not sure exactly what the number is, but it's, you see all of these gems I'm picking up are red, red or green. Green ones are worth two, red ones are worth one. And currency goes up from there. Blue is 5, gold is 10, and purple is 25. Cool flash! Do that again! The artisan's boss is through a portal in the dragon mouth. But you are not yet ready, Spyro. First you must complete one of the other artisan lands. <laughs> ready for this, you are not. Oh, the wisdom of the elder dragons. Now, let's see, now we need to go down into this tunnel, head over to the... I actually, I actually think this might be the second world we go into. Let's go ahead and see what this guy has to say. Hey Spyro, press the jump button twice to glide, and, and don't be afraid. Afraid? Of what? Falling from high mountain peaks, plummeting into prehistoric glaciers? Oh, that. Oh, come on. Who'd be afraid of that, right? No dragon, of course. 
Now, uh, in Spyro's arsenal, we've got two attacks. The first is charge, which you just hit the square button. Spyro lowers his horns and automatically charges forward. You don't have to push on the control stick. And then uh, the second attack is Spyro's flame. You push the circle button, you get a nice little spurt of flame out of Spyro's mouth there. And that's, uh, those are your two primary attacks. You also have uh, some other things that you can do, like gliding. Hit X to jump, hit X again to glide. And you can swoop right back down into this little, this little spinny thing with the blue stars. It's called the whirlwind. They're fun they basically just... Ah, oh, I missed the thing. They basically just pick you up and put you on a higher platform. One that would otherwise be inaccessible, usually. Or they can be shortcuts. For example, for most, le for most levels, you start out at the bottom of the level and work your way up to the top. So a lot of the times, once you get to the top, you'll get a whirlwind, so that'll be a shortcut. So that you can go right back up to the top the next time you come through. Now the first world we want to enter is uh, right here, Stone Hill. So in the next video, we're going to head into Stone Hill and start collecting all the missing uh, gems and saving the dragons. See you guys then.